I will hurt you for this. I am the sword in the darkness. The lion doesn't concern himself with the opinions of a sheep. Let me give you some advice, bastard. Chaos isn't a pit. Chaos is a ladder. We fight for our queen! When Rhaenyra heard of her son's death, she collapsed. She considered ending the war right then, until a raven arrived from her husband, Daemon. Her son would be avenged. What is up, everybody? Jeremy Eisenfire here, and welcome to the channel. With the unprecedented release of not one, but two full new trailers for the upcoming Season 2 of House of the Dragon, fans were given a nice inside look at some of the big events that we can look forward to in the upcoming season. And while many events did stand out from the trailer, there is one in particular that is standing out above the rest, and that of course is the notorious Blood and Cheese. Especially when we look a little bit deeper at these two trailers and see some of the hidden easter eggs that I believe are pertaining to Blood and Cheese and the events therein. So strap in folks, cause Blood and Cheese is just around the corner and I get the feeling it is going to be incredibly brutal. Kicking things off with some of the more obvious shots in the trailer pertaining to Blood and Cheese, we have of course this shot of Blood and Cheese in the flesh sneaking around the hidden tunnels within the Red Keep. And one of the things that stood out to me right off the bat is something that I think we might see later on in the trailer as well, and that is of course the club that Blood is carrying in this scene, as they appear to be on their way to the royal apartments to carry out their mission. And based on some of the information we got on one of the previous trailers, along with the information that Mark Stubbard has been cast in the role of Cheese on House of the Dragon, it looks like this is indeed the same actor that we see in the previous trailer grabbing Helena. So I think it's pretty safe to assume that this is indeed Blood and Cheese in the flesh. Another Blood and Cheese shot that stands out from the trailer is this handmaiden walking down the hallway of the Red Keep with what appears to be clothes covered in blood, which is most likely taking place during the aftermath of Blood and Cheese after the horrific scene is discovered. And if the amount of blood on the clothes is any indication, it looks like the TV version of Blood and Cheese is going to be just as brutal as it was in Fire and Blood. And those, of course, are the more obvious shots in the trailers that are most likely pertaining to Blood and Cheese. But I do think there are some other shots in the trailers that could be tied to the Blood and Cheese event as well. Starting with two in particular shots of Aemond Targaryen doing what appears to be investigating what happened after Blood and Cheese, as he appears to be looking at one of the hidden tunnels within the Red Keep. We have this shot right here of Aemond in what appears to be at the entrance of one of the hidden tunnels within the Red Keep, which looks awful similar to the hidden tunnel that Rhaenyra took in Season 1 when she snuck out to have a night on the town with Daemon. Could this potentially be Aemond playing detective after the events of Blood and Cheese trying to ascertain how exactly they got in the Red Keep to begin with? Especially when we add this other shot of Aemond of what appears to be inside one of the hallways of the hidden tunnels inside the Red Keep walls, perhaps as he follows the hidden route back to see where it leads to. And if this is the case, I think this could be a very interesting scene for Aemon to take on, and I really like the idea of Aemon playing detective trying to find out exactly how this blood and cheese event occurred. We also get another shot in the trailer that I have a feeling is pertaining to the aftermath of blood and cheese, or more importantly, the interrogation of blood, or perhaps even the death scene of blood as we see King Aegon himself delivering a savage blow with a club onto a prisoner. And if we look in the background, it looks like this is indeed taking place within the dungeons of the Red Keep. And based on what we know about Fire and Blood and about the Blood and Cheese event, Blood and Cheese don't exactly make it away from this event scot-free. While Cheese luckily manages to disappear never to be seen from again, Blood, on the other hand, is not as lucky as he is caught trying to leave the city days later, trying to smuggle the head of King Aegon's son out of the city to collect his reward from Daemon, of which Blood does confess to after days of torture in the dungeons. And I do get the feeling this scene of Aegon hitting someone with the club could potentially be Aegon himself either delivering the killing blow or torturing Blood himself trying to get information as the club does look a little bit like the same club that Blood himself was carrying inside the hidden tunnels under the Red Keep. 
And this could be a very interesting scene if this is the case. And I would totally understand Aegon wanting to get his hands dirty himself after finding out of the death of his own child. Especially after dying in such a gruesome manner. So overall, it looks like House of the Dragon is not pulling any punches in their adaptation of Blood and Cheese. And it looks like it is going to be just as brutal as it was in the books, perhaps. We have heard rumors that Blood and Cheese will be coming as early as the first two episodes in Season 2, and we did get this other shot in the trailer of what appears to be Damon most likely sneaking into King's Landing, probably in the first episode, setting up the Blood and Cheese event. Damon, of course, still has many friends within the Gold Cloaks and the City Watch that are very loyal to him, so him sneaking into King's Landing to set this up would be relatively easy for him. Showrunner Ryan Condal did also offer some words about Blood and Cheese and what people could potentially expect in Season 2, stating that A Song of Ice and Fire and Game of Thrones have really conditioned people to expect the unexpected and expect the horrible. But yeah, that one's pretty horrific. We'll see what people make of what's to come. So it looks like Blood and Cheese is going to be coming at us full force in the very early stages of Season 2, and I cannot wait to see how it plays out on screen. But definitely leave your thoughts and comments down below. Do you think these shots could indeed be Aemon investigating what happened after Blood and Cheese? And could this shot of Aegon be, in fact, Aegon delivering the killing blow to Blood himself? But that is going to do it for this video on some of the hidden Easter eggs pertaining to Blood and Cheese. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit a like on your way out and consider subscribing to stay up to date on all of our upcoming House of the Dragon content. And as always, I want to give a big thank you to everybody out there for watching, and a huge thank you to all of the channel members, and we will see you on the next one. Feel what I've begun.